this week's Money Minute, brought to you by the Tiger Credit Union. We're back and it's a new year. A new year means a fresh start. Think about last year in your financial journey. Is it one that you were proud of? Or could changes be made to improve your financial standing in the new year? This month, we will be focusing on being smart when it comes to financials and how you can improve financials in the new year. This week, we will focus on being smart about debt. Some financial experts believe that all debt is bad, but that isn't necessarily the case. Some debt, when used smartly, can be a financial resource to learn from if used correctly. So here are a few tips to help you determine what good debt is and what isn't. Good debt is usually cheaper. It may help you get something important like a house or a car or a college education. Typically, annual percentage rates, or ARP, APR, will be lower on these types of loans. But even good debt isn't free and you have to be sure to continue to pay your loan. So three years from now, if a job change comes your way, you need to factor in being able to make all your payments. Bad debt is typically for things you don't really need, like a credit card or store credit. Things like clothing, toys, or other wants instead of needs. Credit cards can lure you in with a low introductory APR, but later will raise your rate to 18, 19, 20% or even higher. And just because someone will lend it to you doesn't mean you should borrow it, especially when you just turn 18. Many credit card companies will start sending you pre-approval letters. Mm -hmm. However, they do not know you or your ability to pay back your debt. So just because they'll give you a card with a $500 limit doesn't mean you should take it and max it out. Yep. Only charge what you can repay in a full on a monthly basis. And last but certainly not least, don't use debt to keep up with the Jones. The statistics show in the U.S. over 150 million people have credit card debt. Just because someone has a new car, wears all new clothes, or always has the latest and greatest technology doesn't mean they can necessarily afford it. Look at your own finances. Know what you can afford and make decisions based on what is best for you. Here is this week's trivia question. Which of the following statements is not true about good debt? A. Good debt helps you get something you might need. B. Good debt is free. C. Good debt typically has a lower annual percentage rate. D. Good debt may be a car loan or home mortgage. Don't forget, everyone who fills out an entry form and correctly answers the trivia question will be entered into a drawing to win a Tiger Credit Union swag bag. Oh wow, a swag bag! So be sure to find the student tellers during your lunch period today to answer today's trivia. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Thursday, Tigers. It's January 16th and it's an A-Day. After today, we got one more A-Day to go before finals. Did you see the email Miss Helsa dropped about Valentine's boxes? To boil it down, you can gift your friends and significant others a surprise treat on Valentine's Day. They're handcrafted paper boxes filled with the candy of your choice. And they're only one dollar. So grab an order form outside the office and give your payment form and form to your advising teacher. Delivery is free. Okay. Time for some straight talk about learn attendance. Whether we like it or not, Miss Daisy has made it crystal clear that we need to punch in ourselves to learn. If you want to make sure your punch counted, when you're done punching in, go to your computer and log into Roost. If you're marked present, you're good. If you're not, go punch in again. If that doesn't work, talk to your teacher. Transition time. We've got a sports update. JV girls hockey is at home today. Boys basketball, girls basketball, and boys hockey are on the road. Good luck, everyone. Speaking of sports, the saga of Isaac's power and youth versus Young Thunder's finesse and experience continues. The questions these two have been asked the most in recent days has been, how did this historic competition begin, and being such great athletes and specimens of humanity, why basketball? People want to know more, so in an effort to please the people, the fan base and those who make this rivalry what it is today, a film is in the works. Take a look at the teaser trailer.
<laughs> I can't wait to see more. <laughs> For GN97, I'm Whitney Hedge. And I'm Genesis Cernick. Have a great day, Tigers. <laughs> Bye.